everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is my Christmas Decorate With Me Part 2 and I started off by rearranging the pillows in here because I didn't like the way that they looked before and I finally got them to look the way that I wanted them to look. If you watched my Part 1 you would see that I wasn't able to have the pillows done in a way that I liked so I finally found a way that I liked in this video. This is how it turned out and I think it's super cute. And as always, I'll link everything I can down below. I go into the kids' room so I can finish everything I can in here. And I put up these little wreaths from Hearth and Hand. I thought they were so adorable. I like to change out the wreaths for the season. And I also replaced their Halloween books with their Christmas books. I realized that I didn't have very many Christmas books. So I actually ordered some more after I was done um, doing their room today because I was like, okay, the Halloween books filled up both shelves and this one barely has any. I also put them up a little wooden nativity set. I thought it was really, really cute. That was from Target too. And I get out all of their toys that I only get out for around Christmas. So there's this little wooden nativity set by Melissa and Doug that they can play with. And everything else is by Hearth and Hands Holiday Line. I have a lot of things from last year and then I have some new things from this year but I think it's really fun to have toys that you only get out for a certain season because the kids really look forward to it. So they were really excited. I just set these up on the floor for them and waited for them to come in and see it and they were super excited. If you watched the video that I uploaded yesterday then you know that the secret is out and I am pregnant I'm in my second trimester I'm 16 weeks along and that is the reason that my back has been hurting so bad <laughs> so in a lot of my videos I talk about how my back just hurts so bad and that is for sure a pregnancy symptom I can't really do like a ton of things because my lower back just starts to hurt so bad it's so intense so even in this video I wasn't able to do a ton um, I got to do everything I wanted to pretty much but towards the end of the day my back was just hurting so bad I had to sit on the couch and Josh was so sweet and took over for me so I recorded him doing a lot of the things that I couldn't so you guys will notice that Josh is in this video quite a lot because he is helping me out since my back is hurting so bad um, I'm going to the chiropractor next week so I'm really excited about that because I'm hoping that she can fix it she is um, a chiropractor, especially for pregnant women, so I'm really hoping she can figure it out. I moved to the front porch. I'm finally doing the front porch. I usually do that first, but I did not this year, and I just blow off the front porch. There's a ton of leaves everywhere and replace all of the fall and Halloween decor with Christmas. Everything I had from last year, so you'll probably recognize everything except I got um, a new snowman that I put on the porch. It's like a little wooden snowman. It's so cute. Josh named it. Josh and I named it Eugene because he looks like a Eugene. <laughs> Josh took over doing the rest of the front porch, like taking down the Halloween stuff because I couldn't reach the ghosts that we hung on top of the windows and that little pumpkin ghost thing that we have. The wasps love that thing and there was wasp over here. I'm terrified of wasps so Josh took care of it and he went ahead and put those things away from me. <laughs>
do a ton in the different bedrooms that we have. So all I did was fix up the guest room. It usually gets like this because Ashton likes to lay in here and watch TV sometimes. And then I just put a Christmas pillow in the middle of the bed. And then I replaced the reefs. You guys know I love reefs. I have them all over my house. So I replaced all of the fall ones with Christmas ones. And then I go into the kids' room. This year we got them the Step 2 Christmas tree. Um, I was going to get this last year and I decided not to because I already had so many things that I purchased last year. I didn't want to go crazy. But this year I really didn't purchase that much. So I went ahead and bought it for them this year. And it's actually been a big hit. They've loved it. Especially Auden, but all three of them play with it. It lights up and... It's just a lot of fun for them to play with. So you can see me setting it up for them here. Now we're back here once again. Holidays and cheer. But now I got my eye set on you. Oh. So I just showed you guys a Wonder Shop little string light garland thing. It's like felt. It's not actual string lights. And it's a toy for kids. But those were such a hot commodity, um, especially in my nugget group. So we wanted to make a nugget tree. So that's what Josh is doing here. He's making the kids a nugget tree. These just look adorable. And of course, like the kids love anything to do with the nugget. And I was lucky enough that my sister works at Target. I've mentioned it before. And so she was able to get those string lights. I just couldn't believe that they were so hard to get. And they're like completely sold out online. So if you guys see those, you're lucky because they are a very hot commodity and you should get some for your kids because the kids absolutely love them. So Josh set up the tree for them. They played on that for a while and then he decided to set up the real tree. So I'm sitting on the couch at this point because of my back and he's moving the furniture around so that we can make room for our tree. So last year I was able to get my dream tree. It's so big and I love the way it looks. It's supposed to look really realistic. And you don't have to fluff it or anything like that. All you do is you set it up and all of the branches fall into place perfectly. So I love that feature about it. And this year we decided to not decorate it. So last year it was super stressful and such a hassle to have it decorated with ornaments because Auden would not leave the tree alone. So many of my ornaments are broken. And he is the same way as he was last year. He still gets into absolutely everything and tries to break everything. So I just decided to save the stress and not do that. So our tree is naked this year, but it's still beautiful and I still love it. Next, I'm moving into the dining room to decorate this table that I have in here. And we are actually not even going to have a dining room anymore. We decided recently um, we never go in the dining room, like barely ever. Even when we have a bunch of people over, they want to sit in the kitchen at the bar and at the kitchen table. So I was sad because I felt like my farm table never got any use. And I love this table so much. We actually had it custom made. So it's like really important to me because it's like my dream table. So anyways, we decided to get rid of the um, round table that is in our breakfast nook and all of those Parsons chairs. And we were going to move this dining room um, table into the breakfast nook. And so we actually already did that. It wasn't done yet. I think we did it like two days after I filmed this video, but I love it so far. We are transforming this dining room this former dining room into an office slash homeschool area for the kids. If you have me on Instagram, you can see all of the inspiration pics that I put. And I actually already got a lot of things for this room and I'm super excited about it. I'm also going to be filming that process. So if you're interested in that, then definitely stay tuned because it will be coming very soon. I'm almost completely done with it. I'm just waiting for some more things to come in the mail. So this is the finished product of this table. I also got that snowman this year. That's another new thing I got. 
I just thought the snowmen were so cute at Target this year. And I used the fake snow like I did last year and I put the little joy sign in here this year instead of putting it over the fireplace like I did last year. And then I'm just opening up this advent calendar that is from Magnolia. So we have two advent calendars. We have the one that's in the living room and then this one. But this one is really fun for the kids. The other one's mostly for me. But this one's fun for the kids because it has like these little drawers. So every day one of the kids gets to pull out one of the drawers and I got these little Hershey's Kisses to put inside so they can get a little treat when it's their day to pull out the drawer. And when all the candy's gone, then it's Christmas. So I thought it was really cute. It looked heirloom quality. And then I just go ahead and clean off this dining room table because I, I was going to move it. Um, well, I wasn't going to move it, but I was going to have Josh and my dad move it this evening, but they didn't end up being able to do it. So they actually did a couple days later, but I was able to have it cleaned for them to put into the breakfast nook. I got that tablecloth from the Hearth and Hand collection this year from Target and I put it on the table and I left it there for about two days just so I could think on it. I didn't love it and I ended up taking it off. I just don't like it. I don't know what it is. It's like the right size for the table but I just don't like the way that it looks. And then I put these little push pins on the dog's door and I hang their stockings over the door. I decided to do it like this this year and I thought it was a really good idea and it looks super cute and luckily the kids don't mess with it so it's perfect. Okay so it's time to make what we're going to be eating for dinner. So I'm going to be making a sriracha salmon with turmeric couscous. The first thing I did was take the couscous, I took two cups of it and then four cups of chicken stock and put it in the pot. You bring it to a boil and then you simmer it until the couscous is tender. Now I'm making the sriracha sauce for the salmon. So I put two tablespoons of sriracha, two tablespoons of any sweetener of your choice. I use blue agave, but you can use maple syrup or honey or whatever sweetener you want to use. Then I'm adding a tablespoon of this Santa Cruz lime juice. This is the best one. It's so fresh and it always tastes so delicious. I'm going to be putting two tablespoons of organic cocoa aminos or you can use soy sauce, whichever one you prefer. Now I'm going to be adding some rice vinegar. So I'm going to be putting a tablespoon of that into the mixture. And then I'm going to be putting half a tablespoon of this toasted sesame seed oil. Lastly, you're just going to put in some garlic and some ginger. You just do however much that you pretty much that you just want. So I put a good bit of both of them because I like to really taste these spices. So just mix it up and taste it. If you want more of one or the other, then you can go ahead and add that. This is the salmon that I use. I get it from Costco. It's wild and it's always super fresh and really good. I go ahead and I put a ton of the sauce on that and then I give the sauce and the salmon to Josh to put on the grill. I'm just going to be sauteing some asparagus while Josh is doing that. I spray it with vinegar to clean it and then I'm going to dry it off and snap off all of the super hard pieces. Now I'm just going to be sauteing it until it gets to the texture that you like. I like my asparagus pretty crunchy. I'm also going to be adding some garlic and some lemon pepper. This just makes for such a delicious flavor. And that is going to be the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know it was pretty quick and my decorate with me wasn't as long as it usually is. But I just don't feel like doing a ton this year, honestly. And now you guys know why. So this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.